What's going on everybody? Jake back at it again. Um, this is going to be my third video uploading today. My third video in two hours. So, awesome. I was going to do a channeling, but I just spoke for an hour and a half um, telling my story. So, and I'm, I just don't feel... I'm not sick, but I just don't feel um, too great today. So, I think I'm just going to take it easy. So we have a beer review for all my beer people out there. And um, I thought I did a review on this. I guess I didn't. So I decided, hey, you know what? Might as well uh, do one on this because this is a fantastic beer. I don't drink it a lot, but um, it's very unique. There's not a lot of beer like this. So without further ado, I introduce you guys to the king, uh, literally. It's the Maharaja. It's what Jinder Mahal wishes he can be you might as well have a couple of these backstage after doing all that shit if you're not a wrestling person you're not gonna know what i'm talking about um but this beer is amazing guys and i believe they're from yeah okay avery brewing company which is in boulder colorado um, and it says, welcome to his kingdom. And I'm pretty sure online, I'll look it up right now. I think Maharaja stands for great king, I believe. Oh, okay, listen to this. So I guess they're going to learn something today. Maharaja is derived from the Sanskrit words Mahat, meaning great, and Rajan. Oh, I did a beer review on, on the Raja beer, which was not good. It was really bad. Um, and Rajan meaning king. So, yeah, cool. Great king. Whatever. Um, Just to give you guys a description of this beer, it's, I don't think it's a well known beer, so a lot of people probably have never heard of it before. Um, okay, so much like its namesake, this Imperial, yeah, it's 10%, guys, just so you know. So, if you're having a couple of these, eat something, don't drive. Uh, much like its namesake, this Imperial IPA is regal, intense, and mighty. And I'm getting this from Beer Advocate because my channel's gaining stuff. Um, I have to start, you know, I don't want any copyright or y using anything, you know, that without giving it credit. So I, I just wanted to let you guys know I'm reading this off of Beer Advocate. So much like its namesake, this Imperial IPA is regal, intense, and mighty. With hops and malts as his servants. Wow. He rules both with a heavy hand. The Maharaja flaunts his authority over a deranged amount of hops. Tangy, vibrant, and pungent, and it's very pungent. Along with an insane amount of malted barley, which I'm not a big fan of. Fashioning a dark amber hue and exquisite malt essence. A welcome to his kingdom. And it's 102 IBUs, which it's very, very bitter. Um, I know I've talked about this in other videos, but if you know about the the IBUs, like the International Bitterness Unit, whatever it's called, the human palate, the human mouth can only take 103 IBUs. Even though there are beers that are over 103, you're not going to taste. You're not going to taste all of it. You're only going to taste the 103. Um, that's why I liked the resin beer, which I've talked about before so much, because resin, they knew that, they talked about it, so they said, our beer is going to be 103 IBUs. So this is 102, man, so whew, this is really pushing it. But um, bitterness makes great beer, so I cannot complain. So just to see what other people um, have said, because this is not really that well-known of a beer. Nice straw amber appearance, light white head, aroma is nice hoppy with citrus. Taste is also a nice hoppy with some citrus without bitterness. Um, dark amber with a quarter inch of foam, very little lace, smells buttery and fruity. Don't want a beer smelling like butter. Nice balance of alcohol and hops, nice funky bitterness at the end, rich and delightful. So that is what people have. But we are not here for other people. So let's see how this rolls. I've had it in the freezer for an hour. And when you have beer in the freezer, it takes the head away. So there's probably not going to be, yeah, there's like no head on here. 
But the other beers that I'm going to have later on after this one, they're in the fridge, so I'm going to have a head on, on those for sure. Ooh, very, very hazy indeed. Sorry, just cleaning up my mess. Yeah, check that out. Uh, we may have an unfiltered beer. Let's see. Mm, I don't know. Looks pretty unfiltered to me. I wonder if it says. Oh, this is interesting. I've never heard this before. With, with beer, I've never heard this. Brewed with Rocky Mountain Water. Cool. That's interesting. I know it's nothing important, but it's just something new. Yeah, it doesn't say um, at all. It's unfiltered. I think it's unfiltered. Seems like it. So with this head. Mmm. Wow. Very citrusy. Excuse me. Extremely citrusy. Wow. Okay. I'm definitely getting a malt. Um, I'm getting a cereal malt. Yeah, it has to be the barley. It has to be the barley in this beer. Um, it said this beer has a ton of that, so that's probably what I'm smelling. Citrus malt. It does smell pretty hoppy. Um, not a straightforward hop. Um, not the type of hop that you usually would expect in an IPA. I really don't know how to describe this one, I'm being honest. It's a hidden, complex hop, you know? It's like you can smell it, but um, it, it, it's kind of embedded with all the other aromas you're getting. Like, there are some beers where I can just go like, oh, it's Citra Hop, or it's oh, Cascade, or Mosaic, you know what I'm saying? But this one, yeah, this is really embedded in there. I'm also getting um, an apricot. Mm. Well, maybe not apricot. It's like a bittersweet. It's like how uh, mangoes have that, you know, like there's a little bit of sweetness, but it's like that bitter, not so sweet, you know, kind of taste, a smell, you know, for smell for this going on. And there is definitely some booziness. Um, you can definitely smell the alcohol in this. Oh yeah, absolutely. Sorry guys, I'm uploading another video, so I'm trying to do awesome one time. There is no grapefruit in this, which I'm really surprised about. Um, no grapefruit. Not that much pine. I may pick it up in the taste, but from the smell, from the the wafting of it, yeah, there's no grapefruit. So I finally found a finally found an IPA that does not really have grapefruit in there. So that's awesome. I'm also getting a little bit of uh, a sweet floralness, a sweet floralness too. This is a lot better than the Raja. If you guys uh, watched my my review on the Raja beer, I remember the best way to describe it is I've never, and this is going to sound a little weird, I've never had SpaghettiOs like as a child. I never ate Chef Boyardee or SpaghettiOs. I never experienced it because the smell from when I, when I was around other people who had that kind of stuff. To me, the smell of that sauce was just so disgusting I guess that you know I can't think of any any nice way to put it um I just completely avoided it and that is what that beer tasted like it tasted like the smell of really cheap and I'm Italian so like I don't do cheap pasta sauce you know I know how to make good pasta sauce but man that was like some awful rancid stuff man that beer was no joke 
But this, you know, because it's the same company, I was a little worried that this may be a little similar. No, this is fine. This smells really good. So, salute. Hope you guys have a good night. Um, and we'll see how this goes. Whew, very cold. It's been in the freezer for an hour. So very cold. Oh wow. It's a lot smoother um than it than the, the smell was. It's actually gonna go down a lot smoother. That's a very good thing. That's definitely gonna amp up um the ratings for this beer for sure. Yeah, I'm getting that apricot. That's what it was. It's weird because apricots and mangoes are, are completely different. But that, you know, like how fruit has that bitter, not sweet um, aspect to it, just characteristic. That's what I was getting from this beer. Mm. Now, you're going to have to deal with a lot of malt. But this malt isn't too bad. And I think because it's an imperial... Uh, things are boosted more I think that's why it's better if I had a malt beer that was I mean I could be wrong about this because I don't know a lot about malt because I don't like it um, I wonder if it was you know like a because it's 10% it's, it's an imperial beer I wonder if it was not 10% if it was lower if the malt would be stronger but this malt is actually it's balanced like I can tolerate it it doesn't taste that bad but it is giving me that um oats the cereal you know it reminds me of I never liked Lucky Charms as a kid and I still to this day I mean I, I just don't like it I don't like that stuff um, but like the oats you know not the marshmallows but like the part that doesn't taste good you know like that's what I'm getting from this beer um, but not in a bad way but I'm talking about the, the malt part you know specifically hmm Wow, and yeah, I mean, we you can't you can't hide away from the bitterness of this beer. It's not as bitter as I thought. I could be different though because I drink very strong bitter beer all the time, so my mouth is a little desensitized in a way. But I mean, it, it's it's bitter. There's definitely that bitterness to it, but not like stone. Um, I don't like the way stone does their bitterness. I've told you guys before. There's something about it. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it. Um. But this is a very, it's a balanced beer because there, there are a lot of different flavors and things going on in this. There's a whole bunch, but it tastes really good. I mean, it does. Um, And the alcohol, you can't really taste as much. You can smell it. But I feel like that's how a lot of high percent beers are. It's like, yeah, you could smell the alcohol off. You, you can be like, you know, whoo, and get that little, like, two second headache you know where you feel the pressure um but drinking this i don't get that at all drinking this is fine this is really smooth absolutely mm. ton of citrus though i mean this is not a malt bomb thank god yes there is a lot of there's a lot of malt in this beer but it's balanced because the hoppiness mixed with the citrus and the apricot yeah i mean those and yeah and the bitterness okay yeah it really balances the beer out so it's not a malt bomb or it's not too heavy on one side this is a beer that i think a lot of people uh oh and i said this with um uh zombie dust I think this is a beer where if people who like different types of beers, you know, if multi, like let's say there's four people and each of them like different things in beer, I think each of them would enjoy this beer. There's something for everybody in this beer, for sure. Absolutely. Mm. Wow. It's a really, it's a heavy, a deep, a deep heavy full-bodied beer it is an imperial so it's kind of like common sense that's what you're gonna get I'm trying to not say um it 
has that deep fruit, bittersweet, but it is still sweet. Um, there you go. And the hoppiness, yeah, this is a really full body beer. This is a heavy beer. Um, this is a beer that you got to be careful with. I feel like drinking, if I drink all four of these, which I know I, I probably won't, that's a lot, but if I drink all four of these, I think I would be very bloated and very full because this is a very deep, heavy beer. This is, this is, yeah, and this is definitely a winter beer. This is not something where it's like summertime, it's nice, you know, I'm going to have a couple of these with my friends. You have a couple of these and your friend's going to be the couch, my friend, uh, for a fact. So this is a beer where if it's winter, you're inside, you're going to have a couple of these and then just sprawl out, relax, whatever, it's the end of the night. This is a really good beer to go to. This is not a beer that you want to drink one or two of them and then go do things because you're going to not be all there probably because it's very strong. And even though it says 10% on here, I'll show you guys, it says 10%. Um, I was looking at Beer Advocate and it said 10.2%, which I don't know if that's correct, but it just basically means it's definitely a beer that you want to be careful with, guys. And I am actually right now going to upload my other video. So you're going to have to give me one second. Okay. All right. Yeah, three videos in one day. I think that's the most I've ever done um, in one day for you guys. I'm not, I'm not sure. And I think I'm coming up on about a year of doing these videos. I have to check. I think it was maybe January or February when I started. And it's almost Thanksgiving. So thank you guys. I know 51 subscribers, um, you know, is yeah, I'm getting there, you know. I, obviously, you know, I would like more, but you guys have been great with the comments and the likes and everything. And again, you know, I, I don't ask you guys to like or subscribe to me. So the fact that you guys are doing these things really makes me happy. Um, and I just want to say, even though I know I am doing this like service or whatever to you guys, you guys are doing a service to me. You know, we all work together. So Thank you, and each and every one of you who are watching this, I have gratitude um, for you specifically. So while you're watching this, yes, feel good, because you have also impacted my life in a very positive way. So I just want to say thank you to um, all you guys. You know, I'm, I'm getting messages, and people have just been great. So thank you. You guys are definitely, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, you need to hold up your end, but you guys are definitely holding up your end of this relationship, you know. So, just want to say thank you guys for everything. Um, let me see if there's anything else with this beer. I don't think so. And I mean, 20 minutes is pretty long, so I'm gonna try to cut it. Mm. Yeah, real deep citrus. So, if you guys are like me and you really like Two Hearted. You know, Two Hearted has that real deep, orangey, clementine, you know, tangerine, citrus zest to it. Yeah, zest is a good word. Well, or like like Beer Advocate said, tangy. This is a very tangy beer, you know, absolutely. Um, and I really, really enjoy tangy beers, very citrus beers. I mean, I think citrus is what kind of holds the mold. For, for craft beers, for IPAs, you know, specifically. It also has a little bit of a breadiness to it. I'm getting, it's from the yeast, you know. I'm getting a little bit of a bread tone, like breadcrumbs, basically. Like a biscuity, a dough, you know what I'm saying? That kind of thing to it. And if you do beer reviews, you know, you, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, you just kind of gain these things. So, in short, guys, Maharaja from Avery, 10%, so be careful. With this beer, you're gonna get an uh, intense amount of bitterness, it's very bitter, a very deep citrus. You're also gonna get some breadcrumbs, like some bread tones. You're also gonna get a little bit of malt tones. I'm getting more of a, a cereal grainy feel to it. It has some, like an apricot, a deep, bittersweet, 
I don't know how to describe it. That's probably as far as I can go. Just a full body wholeness to the beer. It's a very whole beer. You don't drink it and you don't feel like it's missing something. Um, it could be unfiltered too. It looked like it. So I'm not sure. And the alcohol really, you can't taste it as much. So it's really smooth. So this is not a beer that you're going to have trouble drinking at all. Very, very good. Um, out of 10, I think I'm going to give this beer... I think I'm going to give it an 8. No, no, I'm going to get it an 8.5. I know I don't do the halves, but I'm going to. Because this is a really, really good beer. I don't drink it a lot, but every time I drink this beer, I'm always happy that I got it. I'm always like, you know what, that was a damn good beer. I'm really happy I had that. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a, an 8.5 out of 10, which is absolutely good. That's definitely up there. Um, being a little lenient, you know, with this one, but... You got to give credit where credit is due. And if you guys want a really good Imperial um, IPA or you guys are just looking for something new and you're at like a Benny's or somewhere where they have a big variety, definitely get this beer. That's another thing. Um, it could be a little expensive depending on your perspective of what's expensive. But for four beers, it, it, gets, it comes in a four pack because it's 10%. You can buy this beer. When I first tried it years ago, it came in um, the, the 22 ounce bottles, which is like 10 bucks for one of those. And that's like, you know, one and a half beers. Um, so I got four of these for $12, which, oh no, sorry, $13, which it, give or take, it depends on your perspective. But um, four 10% beers for like 13 bucks, you know, I don't think that's too bad. It's really not drink all those and you'll see how you know how you feel it's definitely enough so very very good beer guys um so 8.5 out of 10 definitely recommend it i'm going to upload this hopefully you guys try this beer and like all the beers that i review please drop a comment and tell me what you think if you disagree with me that's awesome um it starts a conversation you know so if you disagree with me definitely let me know if there's any beers that you want me to review hey I'm open. So, again, this is your guys' channel as well as mine. So, the only way this works is from both of us. So, thank you guys. Have a good night. Namaste. And I will see you in another one. So, bye guys.